Hey everybody, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, and today's video is going to be going over 27 must-haves for parrot owners to make your life just a little bit easier. I will be leaving links in the video description to my Amazon store where you guys can find an array of these products as well as other links if they aren't available on Amazon. Just keep in mind that this is an affiliate code so I do make a small percentage from your purchase for telling you about these items at no extra cost to you. So I'm gonna start this list in no particular order and just give really quick explanations of why I use these things and why I think they may be beneficial to you just to keep the video moving. Oh, kiss. Yes, this is Olivia. She is a pineapple green cheek conure and she's adorable. Just a little background, I have a lot of different types of parrots ranging from my smallest budgie to small birds like conures. I have sun conures. Then I have medium birds like rosebreast cockatoo and African gray. Then I have large birds such as macaws. So this product list is gonna go through things that may only apply to tiny birds, may only apply to large birds, but depending on where you range at, you'll be able to utilize these things. Number one on my list is a tiny little vacuum. I use a vacuum that charges and I can just go around my house and suck up all those tiny little feathers that get around and it's just a really quick, easy way to clean, especially the bottom of my tiny bird cages. You're so cute. Next is a bird safe heater. I know we all get in these certain circumstances that we don't foresee and everybody's always panicking and asking, is this heater safe? Is that heater safe? Having a bird safe heater that you know is your go-to is really, really important. Third, is a air purifier. I actually have one running right next to me. I have these all over my home and they are so, so important because birds give off a lot of dust and dander and we don't wanna be breathing that in and neither do they. They should be living outdoors 24 seven. So we need to make sure that their respiratory systems and ours are well taken care of. Next is a training stand. There's so many poorly made training stands out there that lose your bird's trust really, really quickly. So choose your training stand wisely. Next is a shower perch. I love using these suction cup shower perches from Amazon. They hold really well as long as you get them wet on the suction cup and wet on the door when you apply it. They're awesome and they're a great way to give your bird a bathing opportunity. They also come in a variety of sizes to accommodate even the smallest birds up to the largest. Next is a first aid kit. They make bird first aid kits, guys, and it has everything you need in an emergency. You should have these on hand. I have multiple. Next is for those of you that have multiple birds and need to be making large batches of bird food, it's an ice chest. I actually make my large batches of my seasonal feeding system in a big ice chest, and it makes my life so much easier. Now for the tiny birds, I love providing a little bird bath. This is an amazing thing from Amazon. It was such a good, good find, and it works perfectly for my budgie. I can easily add my aloe into this bath for my budgie, which is a great, great opportunity to offer aloe. Next on the list, but certainly not least in priority, is a gram scale. You should be weighing your little birds every single day, and your medium birds, and your large birds. You should be weighing your birds every day. That will be the first sign that illness is there. Next is timers. Now we have all of our lights on a timer so that our birds always get 12 hours of sleep even if our schedule is a little off. These things are really, really simple to use so I highly recommend you check them out and they fit any budget. Next is a barbecue grill brush. I know, what am I thinking? These are amazing for helping clean the grace of your cages. You'll thank me later. Next is a batting net or any sort of quick pop-up area that offers like a screened in or netting area for your bird to enjoy being outside in a safe way. We use a batting net, but that won't accommodate tiny birds or small birds like this who can fit through the net. So you'll wanna be mindful about what you choose based on the birds that you have and just be really careful. But birds need to be exposed to natural sunlight and that's a great and safe way to do it. Can I kiss? Give you a kiss. Next is a coffee grinder, and no, it's not for coffee. I am not a coffee drinker, I'm a tea drinker, and I've had a coffee grinder pretty much my entire adult life for my birds. I use it specifically to grind up brown flaxseed to put into their seasonal feeding mix in the morning. Next is a sprouter or some sort of grow kit. You can grow microgreens, you can sprout sprouts, 
However you wanna do it, that should be going into your bird's food every single day. It makes a great addition health-wise. Going off of the fresh food trend, a food processor is going to be your lifeline. It will save your hands from chopping all of those hard, fresh foods. Next on my list is actually butcher paper. For those of you that have large cages and you need it to not seep through because butcher paper is much stronger than newspaper, I would highly, highly recommend it. It is awesome. The only thing it's not as awesome about is budget-wise, it'll cost you, whereas I've been able to get free donations on newspaper. But Butcher Paper has been able to hold out on all of my aviaries, so I really enjoy it. Are you guys gonna be friends? Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Next is my feeding dispensers. Now, I got this idea from a hotel, how they dispense their cereal, and I installed some feeding dispensers in my garage where I keep all of my bird aviaries, and it has been a total game changer for me. Next is a product called F10. It's what a lot of veterinary offices use to disinfect in between animals, and it's something that I personally utilize as I need to disinfect in between birds, project birds, my own birds, etc. So highly, highly recommend for cleaning. F10. You've probably noticed this one behind me, but bird toys and all natural bird toys are a must have for all parrot owners for our birds. They need to be able to chew and be active and <laughs> destroy things that are okay to destroy, such as the toys behind me. That's all for my Bird Tricks toy line. Another thing off of the toys is called a baffle cage, and it's something you can definitely get off of Amazon. I will leave a link. And it is just a little metal cage that you can repurpose broken toy pieces and parts in and make it into a really fun foraging experience. Or you can use that baffle cage to just simply put fun foods like big chunks of carrots or leafy greens and just give your birds some engagement that way as well. There's so many possibilities with this type of toy and so I really enjoy using them. Next on the list is a fine mist spray bottle instead of just your traditional spray bottle. A fine mist is pretty much silent and it's a lot more enjoyable for our birds. So I offer a Birdtrix aloe spray bottle and it is amazing, super fine mist and a continuous mister as well so your hand's not gonna be cramped. Next on the list is a backpack carrier. What makes it more simple than taking your bird out but in a backpack? It's way easier on you and they aren't getting bumped around being held in a carrier or possibly dropped. Currently, my bird backpacks are only available for tiny and small birds, but we hope to be making larger ones in the future. <laughs> Next on the list is tree stands, kind of like the one behind me. This is a big one. I love this tree stand so much. They're also called foraging trees or java trees. Normally they're retired coffee trees that are no longer producing coffee. These trees are amazing for offering your bird enrichment. I like having them around my home for my birds to be able to enjoy and have a place where they are allowed to be, where they can do all the natural things that birds do on trees. Well, maybe not all the natural things they do on trees. Just some. <laughs> Next on the list is chopsticks. I always have chopsticks around. That way I can target my bird out of any given situation that I may not have foresaw myself going into. That brings me to clickers. I have clickers around my house as well so that I can have a training session with my bird randomly and especially to get myself out of dodge. You are making my hair look way better this morning. <laughs> Next on the list is baby wipes. I use unscented baby wipes all over my home because I have these guys all over and I might need to pick up some poop. I might need to wipe my hands off. You just never know. These guys can be messy. Speaking of mess, next on my list is pressure washer. This pressure washer has been a game changer in my bird care. I'm able to clean my aviaries so much faster and so much better. Pressure washer, I wouldn't be able to live without that ever since I discovered it. So highly recommend pressure washing down your cages at least once a week, once a month, whatever that looks like for you, do that. And now when you can't use a pressure washer, coming in at 27 is a steam cleaner. I used to use a steam cleaner inside and I just found that having to refill it and reheat it was just killing my vibe. So I've really leaned on my pressure washer. But when I can't use my pressure washer because of the seasons and the weather, a steam cleaner is definitely next best. All right guys, well that was all 27 must have products for you bird owners out there like me. Tell me which ones are your favorite or if I missed something that you utilize all the time that you wanna put down in the comments for other people to get as well. And I will see you in the next video.